what is up my youtube family hi guys i hope you guys are doing very well we're gonna be talking about this beautiful beautiful lamp here yes it's a mini one but it is so cute we're gonna be vamping it really really quickly doing a diy it's gonna be under five minutes and a total of like five bucks you guys who can do a fucking revamp with a lamp that looks like this right it was 1.99 i purchased it at the goodwill so we're gonna show you guys exactly exactly how i achieved this look that i'm about to show y'all okay so you're gonna start off with this little glue gun honey and you gotta of course have your light bulbs those were from dollar tree i'm gonna link everything below you're also gonna need your glue gun sticks as well i ran through about like them um, i'm not even gonna lie and then also your handy dandy scissors okay so let's get into it of course you're gonna need your boa that i purchased three those are really really hard to find because it's like halloween season fall and a lot of costumes were being made so i had to go to a few dollar trees to get that but yes we're just going to start off by um we're going to keep the cord raveled and then we're going to make sure that the lamp is on obviously but we're gonna just take the end of the boa and then we're gonna cut that rope part the end part just like so okay so i'm cutting this as you guys can see these scissors aren't so great they're from dollar tree they're, they work they do its job but i guess i mean i've had better ones but it's okay so you're just gonna of course make sure that the rope um is cut that loop part there and then what you're gonna do is press it against the rim of the lamp guys okay so it's nothing too hard just a, a really self-explanatory you're gonna literally take your glue gun and you're going to apply the glue right on the rim where you're gonna put the rope or the boa and um i think later a little bit here um i should have started at the bottom which i did stop and realize it would be easier <laughs> but we're just gonna start at the top here it really doesn't matter there's no specific order or anything like that but you're just gonna apply a little bit of glue and then you're actually gonna stick it right there you want to press firmly and make sure you do it really really quickly before the glue dries out and then you're just gonna continue to do that process all the way around the lamp so obviously you want to take off the tag which i really didn't do i forgot um but again like i said before you're just going to literally apply a little glue go around with the boa apply a little glue go around and keep doing that process all the way until you feel like it is full um i think i needed about one more at the end but later on you can fill in spaces guys it's really really easy once you turn it on you can see which spaces need filled and then you'll just go from there on what to do but the key thing here is just to start so it's really really easy it didn't take long um later i think i'm going to light the lamp down to make it a more easier process but you're more than happy to do whatever works for you so as I was telling you guys right here, I think on this part, I realized like, oh my gosh, I should have started at the bottom. It would have been way, way easier, but oh well, we've only did a little, a couple of glues. So we're just gonna start and begin right here. It's the same process. You'll cut the end loop. I started with a different boa. Um, and then once I get reach the top or midway, I'll continue that boa that we started. So yeah, going forward, you just wanna make sure you start at the bottom to make it easier. Um, but again, there's no specific pattern or process that you have to do. So we're just going to apply the glue here. Same thing that we did on top. It's really, really easy, guys. Really, really easy, as you can see. And then we're going to simply just stick the boa right there. It doesn't really matter where you start because you're going to have to close that loop anyways. So you'll just press firmly. You'll keep going around. And feathers are gonna get in the way like I mean that was the only down part about this like they kind of got everywhere but if you got a vacuum honey it really doesn't matter so just keep doing your thing keep going all the way around and yeah right here i'm gonna speed it up just a little bit so you guys can kind of 
get the gist but once you get the hang of it it's really really easy you simply just apply the glue keep going apply the glue and keep going honey Once you get to the end, you're just gonna simply cut it like you see me doing. And then if extra feathers fall off, that's okay guys, we can just reapply them. Um, but I'm just gonna continue that process. You're gonna start and then until you wrap all the way around to cover the other end. So we're just gonna simply do that and you guys are gonna be happy with the results. So as you can see guys, I um, just simply put the lamp down because it was a better angle for me. Um, you're more than welcome to use Gorilla Glue sticks. I think those work best, but I couldn't find it. So I just went on ahead and got the ones from Dollar Tree. It was easy um, and just easy access for me. So I just went on ahead because you had I had to use like 10, like I said in the beginning. Guys, it was crazy. I don't know why I went through so many, but yeah, you just want to make sure uh, obviously you have enough glue on there and then just keep going around. Don't worry about if feathers get in the way. Um, no one will be able to see that. And then also if you want to fill in those gaps or loops that you see those extra spaces you can do it at the end the main goal is to just get it covered and make sure that we have enough boa to do so So right here on this part guys remember that boa we started at the top yeah we're just gonna simply take that boa and keep on raveling it or going around in a downward motion okay that's the only way to go it's not like we could go up right because we don't have anything to go up with so you're just gonna continue on the rim or the edge of the lamp at the top right here feathers were getting everywhere it was getting annoying honestly but i kept going and yeah like i said don't worry about if you get feathers everywhere at the end you can brush it cut it and trim it to your liking and that's exactly what i did at the end so you guys are just gonna keep going around just like so and we're almost done So you guys, this part right here, as you see me, I took a boa. You see that uh, missing space right there in the middle? We're just gonna start on another boa. This is my last one, I believe. Like I said, these were extremely hard to find. I could not find, I had to go like to three or four different dollar stores, but right where that gap is, we're just gonna start that boa there. Um, again, at the very end, you can uh, reapply the feathers that fallen off onto the missing spaces or if you have any leftover you could cut the boa and then put it in where the spaces are needed most so that's what you'll see me doing here and yeah we're gonna see how it looks So you guys, as you can see, I cut the last of the bow and once I went around, I had a little bit of left, but I stood it up. This is kind of how it would look, but I see a lot of missing gaps and I just don't like it. So I'm gonna take pieces of my boa and then go around and fill in the missing spaces. Thank you. 
So right here, I'm just simply fluffing it out. I'm cutting it a little bit as I go, little scragglies and you know, just strayaways or whatever, little extra feathers at the bottom as well. So right here, as you can see, I am simply just adding in missing pieces. Um, I think I ran out, honestly. It can look a little fuller at the end, you guys will see, but it, it did just fine with the things that I had, but we're just gonna brush it or comb it down with our fingers and then kind of fluff it out and cut the ends again in the bottom as well. So that's what you'll see me doing. So you guys, you see me raking it down and then we're just gonna give it a slight shake just to get the extra access off the extra access feathers. You're gonna of course put your light bulb in and then I'm going to show you guys how it looks on my desk, the final finish. Here we go, let's go. So here you have it guys. This is the final end of how everything looks. This is my office space. It's a small space, but I tried to make it look as girly and as homey as possible. I love my little area and voila, look at my little lamp looking so cute. This is how it looks when it's lit. Of course, I'm gonna show you how it looks in the dark as well when the light bulb is not on. But again, if you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs this video up. If you want me to do more videos like these, Please let me know in the comments what you thought about this and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get informed every time I drop videos like these and guys until next time bye bye